If we're going to, to grow in our gospel impact as a church, we've said for years, reaching, connecting, equipping, and serving people, moving them closer and closer toward being sold out for Christ. If we're going to continue to see God grow our gospel impact, reach, connect, equip, and, more, and serve more people for the sake of his kingdom, then what's the most effective way to do that? What's it going to look like? And what's the most effective way for us as a church to do that? We believe it's to multiply ourselves, to reproduce ourselves, to plant ourselves in neighborhood churches that share sort of the center of who we are, but have freedom to, to express the gospel ministry in their own way and their regions. And the first one we're looking at, as you know, is the third campus at Mill Creek. None of these things on this timeline amount to anything if God's not behind it and not in it. We're not trying to be a, a multi-site church all over Chicagoland or all over the Midwest. We're in a particular region of, of a particular part of the world at a particular time. This is our neighborhood, if you will, on the macro level. And actually, we, our reach extends maybe not quite that far west, but a little further east. So I had them redraw this map. That's about our neighborhood. Think about that gray box as our neighborhood as a church. We're, that's where God's put us. You live in that box for a reason. I live in that box for a reason. Our church is in those box, that box for a reason. To make an impact. To see life transformation and gospel impact happen in where God has placed us. We have identified one of those three to four uh, with, with, with certainty. And I just want to use, take this opportunity to introduce to you our campus pastor for the Mill Creek campus, Sterling Moore. God is as been breaking our hearts for the people of this community, of, of the opportunity that exists for the gospel to go forward. Um, I'm wholeheartedly committed to the vision that, that Pastor Jeff and Pastor Brian have laid out in front of us over these last several months. I believe in it, and um, I am just looking forward to everything that he has in store for us, uh, the exciting opportunities to see his kingdom advance, uh, ministry impact continue. And, and I'm humbled by the opportunity to, uh, to be a part of this. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what is clear is that we're ever, if we're ever going to change our name, if, if we ever are going to do this, this is the perfect time to talk about it and think about it. Now is the time to do that. Personally, just, you know, since we're going to be right up front here, personally, I think this is the right time and we must do it. Now let me make some things clear before we talk any further about this. I am, and we are, absolutely proud of our heritage and our affiliation as a Baptist, part of the Baptist General Conference, now called Converge Worldwide. That should be a hint to you. We will not compromise our commitments to Christ, to his gospel, and to the truth of the word of God. We remain and will remain part of Converge Worldwide, Baptist General Conference formerly. We will most likely remain, if, should we change the name, and we haven't decided to, but I just wanted to be frank with you, upfront about my desire and our desire as leadership. Should we change the name, we would most likely remain incorporated as FBCG, First Baptist Church of Geneva, simply changing our doing business as name, the name by which we're known. Number four, it's critical that our new name, should we choose one, be aligned as, as much as possible with our vision and mission as a church and not be an unnecessary barrier to reaching people. Number, number, lastly, let me just say, we don't want to make this decision hastily or lightly. We've been talking about it and praying about it for a number of years now, but more specifically and more uh, in depth in recent months. We want to invite you and our church family to speak into this decision, to, to have a place to give your voice. There's a page on our website for this with some information that I've already spoken to you about and some more resources to read there. And you can click a button there and it'll take you to a page where you can make a name change submission, or a name suggestion for a new name and a place for comments. We'll field that. We'll pray about that. We'll read through all of that. We're going to leave that open on our website between now and the end of 2016. We've covered a lot of ground here. And there are a lot of interconnected things happening at the same time. I hope you get appreciation for that this is exactly the right time and where God is taking us and leading us as a church. Um, I sense God affirming it. I sense it in my own life and in, in the conversations with many of you that he's unifying us around this vision to reach and to serve our neighbors. He's sort of clarifying or honing the tip of the spear for us. Like, think of it that way. We're put here for a purpose. You are as an individual Christ follower. We are as this part of his body been placed here 
to make an impact. And I, I just, I really uh, feel increasingly affirmed that God is saying, keep, just take the next step. Just take the next step as a church. Trust me. Trust me with what's going to happen. And take the next step. No, so no doubt, as the vision statement comes back up here, just to remind you again, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. And all of us, staff, leadership on the EC, and all of you, will we'll be challenged. We'll be stretched. We'll be made uncomfortable in different ways in this process. It's already happening for many of us. Perhaps some of you feel that now. That's a good thing. That, that's a really good thing. It's a sign of his growth. It's not good for us to be comfortable all the time. What else would you rather be doing? What, what else would you rather be doing? Do you just want to go to a sleepy little suburban church that makes you feel good about yourself? Rather than giving our lives to, to, to making an impact in our neighborhood, in the world, where God's placed us.